Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my top five high-end makeup products. I did a top five under five, I believe is what it was called, and I will link that down below for you guys if you want to check that out, but I figured I would do a top five high-end products. So these are some of my top five high-end makeup products. There are other things that I really love, but I didn't want to keep putting, like, keep telling you guys the same exact products every time. Like, one thing that I did want to mention that I'm not including in my top five is my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. My It's the anti-crease eyeshadow primer. And I have literally been talking about this since I made my first video. So I don't want to, like, keep repeating myself about this, but this is definitely something else that I do recommend. Like, there are products like that that I've just been using forever, but I don't want to, like, keep repeating myself. Like, I want to add new products as well, so that's what I'm doing. Some of these you might have heard me talk about. A lot of these have been all over YouTube, like, just all, a lot of people talk about them. They're popular products. So with that being said, I'm just going to jump right into it because I don't want to make this video long and ridiculous. So, the first product is the Makeup Forever HD Powder. And I have been using this for probably two years in total. Um, I had a lot of like small sample ones before I actually splurged and got the big one because I believe it's like $35 or $36, so it is pricey. But it is an amazing powder. Honestly, nothing else that I have ever used really compares to this powder. It just fills in your pores and it just makes you have a really smooth base for your bronzer or your blush just like in general like it's just really an amazing product an amazing powder and you don't have to worry about it not matching you i use it through the winter i use it now in the summer that i got a tan going on like it's just translucent so you know it, it'll match whatever skin tone you are if you do um you want to use it throughout the winter throughout the summer you don't have to keep buying a new one like in a different shade so I really like that. That powder is amazing, 100% recommend it for everyone. I'm pretty positive it'll literally work for everyone, like no matter what um, skin tone you are, no matter what skin type you have, it, it will more than likely be amazing for you as well. So next product is also something that I've been using probably for like um, off and on for like a year and like two or three months, and it is the Stila Stay All Day waterproof liquid eyeliner and I have two. I have a little one and a big one. Both of them are pretty much running on E so I really need to pick up another one because these have been like running on E for a while but um this is amazing. I believe it is like 17 no it's more than that like 20 something 25 I don't know I have no idea it's like between 18 to 20 like five twenty six dollars um i honestly can't even remember but it is amazing it literally does stay all day like it is not a lie it is legit like even like i'm pretty positive i've even went swimming and went underwater and it like faded a little bit but it did not like make a mess all under my eyes like it is legit waterproof sweat proof bulletproof again okay, maybe not bulletproof but you know it's getting a little carried away there but it really is an amazing liquid liner and i really think it is better than anyone i've ever used i do like my elf and like my cheaper liners but this is just like if you do not want to have to look at yourself like if you are going to be busy and you want to make sure that you're not looking like a clown halfway through the day without like looking this is the liner that you should use because legit like it's not going nowhere like it is going to be your best friend if you are super busy and don't want to be bothered with touching up your makeup or like being self-conscious like oh my god is my eyeliner running like because you know we've all had those eyeliners where it's like oh my god do I look like a clown like I need to look at myself this is not that this this liner is amazing. Next, something I have been talking about on my channel pretty much since I started as well, and it is the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel, and this is Espresso. I feel like they change their names a lot, so I'm not sure if it is still called Espresso with like the packaging. Like, I feel like they've changed up their packaging quite a bit since I started using this. So this packaging is all faded, like as you can see, this is um, I don't say it's almost empty, but it's probably I'm going to need a new one like in the next couple months. 
But yeah, this is amazing too. Um, I use this a lot even when I don't want to fill in my brows. I'll just kind of like go over them with this. It keeps them in place. It doesn't smear. It just makes them look put together without putting that extra time in because a lot of the times, especially now that it's summer, I really don't feel like filling in my brows and I feel like it can look a little bit too intense sometimes and like I get a little overboard with my like heavy hand. So this like saves me a lot of time and it's they still look good, especially if I had just got them done like and I they look like on point all I got to do is put this on I'm good to go so I love this I believe this is like 17 or 18 dollars um, I could be wrong but I believe that is the price so been using this for a while I totally recommend it and you will love it next is something that pretty much everyone and their mom on YouTube talks about and it is the Mac Pro Longwear Concealer I'm in the color NC20 this is also something that um, when people say it is an amazing concealer they're not lying it really does do the job and I'm pretty like I'm pretty confident with saying like it is better than any other concealer that I've ever used for covering blemishes for under the eyes it just like does the job so well and I want to say this is $19 I don't even think it's 20 I believe it's like 19 yes I want to say I'm like pretty bad with like saying the prices of these I just realized but I'm pretty uh confident that this is 19 but yeah it, it is amazing they have a wide range of colors if you are familiar with Mac I'm sure you have tried this or heard of it or heard someone talk about it if you watch YouTube videos and like I said they're not lying it is amazing gets the job done it does not crease it does not break up throughout the day it just keeps you looking fresh and I just love it like love this concealer like this is my home girl she keeps me looking fly all the time okay and last but not least is the Tarte Amazonian clay 12 hour full coverage foundation and it also has SPF 15 sunscreen this is also something that I've heard a lot about on YouTube like from other people um, I got this probably like year and a half ago I want to say but the color is very dark so I can only wear it in the summer when I have a tan or like if I'm fake tanning or going to the beds in the winter I can use this but the color is very dark for me I have the color medium so like this is amazing it does not feel heavy on your skin but it still gives you a lot of coverage and it kind of just reminds me of like a second skin like it doesn't look cakey and heavy and it doesn't feel heavy but at the same time like it makes your skin flawless and it gives you like a really nice flawless canvas for the rest of your makeup so I really like it um I don't really have anything bad to say about it honestly it doesn't break apart throughout the day it doesn't like I said it doesn't feel heavy and I just really really like it and it doesn't like when I take pictures and I have this on it doesn't um, reflect like sometimes I know with like a flash when you take a picture with a flash and a makeup has like a foundation has SPF in it sometimes it can make you look white but I've never experienced that with this um, some foundations that I have that have SPF in them I've experienced that with really badly and this one I didn't experience that with so that's like a plus something really random I thought I would add in there but yeah, I just really like this. Am I the only person who keeps a lot of their like high-end products like in the boxes? Because I feel like I spent so much money on it that I just like need to keep the actual box. Like as you can see, my Max concealer, my Tarte foundation, my HD powder, the other ones I didn't because I just like to grab them. But yeah, I just like to keep my products looking fresh and looking nice. I don't know I'm a weirdo anyways I hope this wasn't too long I'm gonna end up editing it and be like oh my god this is way longer than what I wanted so I'm gonna quit talking now and I hope that was helpful for you guys if um, you make any of these videos or you want to tell me about some of your favorite high-end products leave them down below because I, I pretty much will only buy really expensive products if I have heard other good things about them because I'm not trying to spend like $40 on a product that I've heard nothing about you know what I'm saying like I'm sure a lot of you guys are like that too especially if you're like don't want to like buy like you're like picky with your money like nobody wants to waste their money like who wants to waste their money so with that being said I'm gonna stop rambling um, please subscribe give this video a thumbs up I'm almost to 1,000 subscribers so make sure you subscribe because it means a lot to me and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys